Hello everyone, your oyster mushroom experts here. Today, in the what's wrong with the mushroom section, I'll talk about some photos from different growers. Why do these mushrooms look like this? I've put several photos side by side so you can see the situation clearly. I'll explain what happened to these mushrooms. You can see that the mushrooms have elongated stems. This is due to an excess of carbon dioxide. Moreover, there has been a high level of carbon dioxide both when the primordia were starting to develop and when the mushrooms were already growing. While the mushrooms were growing, there was not only the excess of carbon dioxide, but also an excess of moisture. The gills turning outwards and thickening to evaporate moisture from the mushrooms indicates that there was too much moisture. As a result, the mushroom's cup curls upwards. But here, on top of their microclimate issues, the substrate was also too wet. That's why the mushrooms turned out like this. The substrate moisture was 70-71%. The plastic wrap wasn't tightly fitted to the substrate, and mushroom clusters started forming under the wrap without reaching the slits. The grower cut away almost all of the wrap to let the clusters develop. But because of this, the mushrooms began to dry out. Even though there was excess of moisture in the substrate, oyster mushrooms don't like it when the plastic wrap over the substrate is fully removed. This grower should have cut the plastic wrap below the pens and folded back at the top, allowing the primordia to grow and push the wrap further away. Alternatively, a cut could have been made at the bottom and the wrap could have been moved downward. And if you look along the edge of this cut, where the substrate is still covered by the wrap, you can see that more or less normal mushrooms are forming there. But in the center of the cut, the mushrooms are dry. You should never fully cut the plastic wrap on the bags and open it like in the photo. If all the clusters have been forming in a straight line, you could make a slit from top to bottom and slightly fold back the wrap. But don't open the wrap completely. As the surface layer of the substrate dries out very quickly, even though the inner layer remains over moist, when the grower realized that the room humidity was too high, they lowered it too much. The temperature was plus 16 degrees Celsius and the humidity dropped to 75%. For a temperature of plus 16, it is too low. That's why the mushrooms began to dry out. If you have any questions about mushrooms or blocks, send the photos and videos to my email at veshenko.expert at gmail.com. Please note in the subject line that you agreed to the use of your photos in a free video on my YouTube channel. I will create a short video where I explain what happened to your mushrooms or blocks. Be sure to include the conditions under which you grew the mushrooms. I need to know the humidity and temperature in the growing chamber, what kind of ventilation you have, and how the climate conditions in the chamber changed while the mushrooms were growing. If you have spoiled substrate compost, please include in your message how you disinfected the raw materials. Maybe it has been treated with some chemicals, hot water or steam pasteurization, if I have any further questions, I will ask in the reply. That's all for today. Please like my videos and subscribe to my channel to learn more.